hi guys welcome welcome back to the channel thank you guys so much for all your support thank you for always supporting me and thank you for always coming back to watch my videos today guys as you can see in the title we're doing a spiral two spiral columns today it will be a two-tone um, spiral column so it'll be a little bit different from the one that I made previously with the four colors so yeah um, we're just gonna go through and do this I have put some information in the title um, in the video as well so you guys should, could just read along and follow the instructions so yeah guys um, right now today these are the two colors that I'm using um, it will be the pink and the, the purple color and basically I'm just inflating these balloons around eight inches and then I'm tying one of each color um, together to make my duplexes and then once I have my duplexes then I'm gonna you know interlock them to create quads so for this um, two columns we're gonna need a total of 20 quads so total balloons you're gonna need around 80 balloons to create the 20 quads so right now I'm just inflating I'm actually down in my basement I'm like in a little space here but it's like six o'clock in the morning and I didn't want to wake up my family with my you know balloons inflating the balloons so I'm down in the basement um, inflating them and then I'll you know move them upstairs so we could get like a wider view of what I'm doing so you yeah, guys stay tuned I'm just inflating the balloons right now and I'll circle back around when I'm ready to put it together mm -hmm. Okay guys, so this is the lamp that I'll be using. It's the Mainstay 71 inch floor lamp in white. And I basically already assembled one of the columns. So now I've slowed down the video so I could sh you know, show you how I did it. So basically as far as I was saying before, when you blow up the balloons, you could just tie one purple, one pink together and just you know, interlock two of them together to make a quad. So you, you'll need 10 quads to fit on this lamp pole. So what I do when I'm putting them on the pole, I keep the colors separate. So both purples on one side and the pinks on the other side. And then once I put the pole into the middle, slide the pole into the middle of the two balloons, then I interlock. So I just kind of like switch the colors, flip the colors over. So the purple is now on the pink side and the pink is now on the purple side. And that basically locks in the balloon. Okay, so also guys, because I'm doing two columns, when you're doing one, it doesn't really matter, but when you're doing two columns, you want to make sure that the the balloons are going in the same direction. Like each color is lined up in the same direction. So for instance, see, I turned the pole around because I realized my balloons at the bottom did not line up. So I want to make sure the purple is on one side and then the pink is on the other side. And then I'm going to follow the pattern from the first one to do the second one to make sure when I put them um, together as like you know by the backdrop that both of the spiral is going into the right the same direction you don't want one spiral going to one direction and the next spiral going into another direction you want them to look you know uniform so that's one pointer like I've learned the hard way when I started doing this because I didn't really pay attention to that and I end up having like my colors don't line up so instead of me having like pink on one uh, at the bottom then the purple in the middle and then pink it would be two different things so this one would say have pink purple pink the other one would have purple pink purple so now they're not matching and it's like impossible to get it to match unless you switch the balloons so you would literally have to take the balloons back off and you know redo it but yeah guys that's pretty much it you just this is two colors so if you wanted to do like i say a different um, pattern instead of having pink purple pink purple then you would just re rearrange the balloons so for instance you know 
you you want to have um, one pink on pink on one side, purple on one side, pink on one side, purple on one side. If you wanted to have just two rows of pink and then two rows of purple, then it would have been you know it would have been the opposite. So instead of having two colors on one side, then you will have um, two you have separate colors on the other side and then when you flip it over then you'll end up having two of the co the same colors when you do the spiral so if that i hope that makes sense so um yeah you could pretty much do it however you want this one is only two colors that you could do three colors you could do four colors you could do five colors those are a little more complex because now you have to really pay attention to how you're like how many balloons that you're gonna have with the same colors and then when to switch off to the next color to give the fifth row but that's something else that i will go into at a different time but yeah guys just keep watching it's pretty much done right now i won't be putting on my toppers until i get to the venue but it will be the 36 inch balloons i'll inflate them and those will be added on when when i get there so just stay tuned for the final look Okay guys, so this is pretty much the final look um, before the toppers go on. So you see how my spiral are actually going in the right direction. They are all lined up and that is what you want. You want them to be lined up and going in the right direction. So guys, I'm just now getting ready to head out and I'll circle back once I get to the location. So thank you so much again guys for all your support. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when I post new content. Until then, see you.